welcome to the MBS show, episode number 350. I am your host, Norman Senzo. And well, we got some news for you this week. Nothing too fancy, nothing too wow. Just, just there. Um, seems that nothing much is coming out. Which is sad. But hey, uh, we got some. So let's not dilly daddy and let's hop right into it. So first news for this week is unreleased. Uh, the Magic of Friendship Grows demo appears on YouTube. Yes. So, uh, following the awesome alternate version of a Kirin's Tale and Luna's Future from last year, we have another official alternate version of The Magic of Friendship Grows, known as an unreleased demo from the channel has uh, that posted it. So, um, this is pretty cool. Uh, this is how some songs get uh, made, tweaked, and so on before it gets final release. And yeah, um, I listened to this and this is pretty awesome. Uh, the tune was full with uh, piano tunes instead of uh, full instrumentals. And that's how Daniel Ingram made the song to begin with uh, he composed the songs played the demo on piano asked the singers to sing it and just see how it flows uh, send it to hasbro hasbro uh, green light it or not and see how it goes before um, mixing it and so on but yeah um this is pretty awesome and the track here is pretty cool but at the same time too, I do remember that uh, there was a what you call this quote unquote leak a while back where most of the assets for Friendship is Magic was leaked out, and the whole songs, background stuff, and whatnot were there. Uh, I'm 100% sure still they are not, where you can find it, I'm sure you tech savvy people will know where to find it, but uh, other than that, um, if you are not tech savvy enough or don't know where to look for it, this is a good alternative, and yeah, you, know, you can always put it on your YouTube playlist and just play it. Um, I'm shocked that Papa Hasbro doesn't really take a look see at this. But hey, um, like I mentioned before, this is pretty awesome, this is pretty cool, and this is one way for you to kind of, well, take a listen to your favorite song in a different way. Yes, but anyway, let's move on to the next news, and well, quote-unquote final. Uh, Funko announced new line of old-school pony figures. Yes, Funko is apparently counting their, continuing their old-school pony line with six new one announced in a recent video going over their upcoming products. The characters include Minty, Cotton Candy, Blossom, Bluebell, Snoozle, and Butterscotch. Yes. Uh, but let's see. Okay, you got this pony, that pony, this one. I think this is Butterscotch. And so on. So, um... Wow. Okay. Um. What do I have to say about this? Um. Not a big fan. I'm not a big fan. See, they're using a uh, quote unquote G1 style ponies, but the eyes are the Funko Eye figures, and some of you may like it or not, but it's there. And um, this reminds me of a few figures um funko used to do a few figures um they had the funko vinyls and they look something similar to this oh wow ah sweet yep so this is how they look uh, this is is a smaller model of the figure and they were quite hits um i think what they sold out at fifteen dollars to twenty dollars, probably I can remember, and they also had the freakishly 
uh, cute and adorable um, Funko Pops. Um, if you remember the Funko Pops, those are the one that looks like bubble heads and whatnot. And yeah, those are what at ten bucks, I think. Uh, a lot of people were not a fan of those because they look kind of off, and this one feels the same way too, except that. They're quote unquote full figures. So, what I have to say about this? Um, it's interesting if you're a fan and if you're a collector of the Funko lines, go do so. But, I mean, if you have the extra cash, you can always go for the Kotobukiya Ishojo figures. Those are much nicer but more expensive. And here's the thing um, when it comes to figures it's basically amounts to how much are you willing to pay for them i mean if you pay or if you want to go cheap funko is an option but if you want to go expensive kotobukiya and bandai and so on are the other option so it's up to you as a consumer to decide which one is best for you for me personally, I oh, I I go for what is affordable, and sometimes that can be the Funko figure, and well, at most times I I really want the Kotobukiya, but I don't have the cash. Uh, I remember that one of those things are gonna cost me about four hundred to five hundred ringgit, um, about a hundred dollars or hundred fifty depends. But hey, uh, that's the news for this week. And, well, <clears throat> uh, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is, what have I been doing for my week? So, um, nothing really special going on because, what, uh, uh, recently my country slash state is hit with the, oh, what was it called? CMCO or RMCO, uh, I, I forgot, but it's limit us. Uh, I think what it's for you guys, Americans, um, stay at home order, something like that. And so, I, I, my state got hit with that. So, our movement is pretty limited in what we can do. So, no movies, no card games, and so on. Uh, but we can still move around, um, but we can't stay late uh, I think what around 12 o'clock is the latest and I know it sounds so dictatorship or totalitarian and whatnot but hey the pandemic the virus is a pretty serious deal and it needs to be taken seriously so if we can do our part to well stop the spread that's a-okay but so okay um Getting back on track, what have I been doing? Um, in terms of uh, stuff, Magic the Gathering recently released their um, newest set, and that is called Commander Legends. And I recently did a video of that on the other channel, uh, the Magic the Gathering channel that I host. And yeah, we, we did an unboxing and video's not up yet, but I think by the time that um, this episode comes out, no, nah, it comes out on Thursday. So yeah, check out, check that out. That, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Uh, we talk about a few things about the set, how good it is and so on. And yeah, um, do check it out there if you're interested in Magic Gathering. If not, oh, you can just see me crack packs and talk about stuff. That's always fun. Other than that, um, mm, uh, mm, did, did I mention I went ice skating? I think I did. That that was two weeks ago. So yeah, um, my knee still hurts a little, so not that bad. So it's okay. Um, other than that, nah, basically not much. Nothing much. So, um, let's move on to well, uh, wrapping things up. So, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at imagegmail.com. 
You can also reach us on the Twitter, the show Twitter account is at Limbia Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PremierLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe and read us on the iTunes and YouTube for the review and discussion podcast. Over there, you can catch me, Silver Quill, Terra, Reviewing the Pony Comics episodes, specials, and sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies um those could be anime games comics and cartoons uh, we are diversing we, we do love the other media so uh, i hope you guys go check us out over there so anyway, um also <laughs> uh, if you like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show with every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And also a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Master Flag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. Um, I- I'm just thinking for you guys on the patreon and also you guys who are listening to this on the youtube should i do a um q a or a poll and stuff because i feel like those kind of things are pretty cool and uh, kind of uh, interact with the audience I-, I do like to talk a lot and i do have a lot of opinions uh, some may be good some may be bad but it's up to you but I, I feel like I would like to do that. Um, I'm not 100% sure where to ask the question. Obviously, Patreon would be a good one. I could ask the Patreons, but um, yeah, I, I guess you guys who want to support the show can do so. I mean, uh, a dollar is not much, but uh, it's not nice asking for you guys in this day and age. Yeah, but still, um. I, I might pop it up on the Patreons. Who, who knows, right? Uh, other than that, um, I might ask it on the YouTubes. Who knows? I, I think there's a poll option somewhere. But anyway, um, I will consider it and I will uh, be waiting for you guys to, well, quote unquote, respond. I, I do hope that you guys respond. Um, I'll try and keep, uh, I'll try to think of a interesting question. Also, for the people who are listening to this on the iTunes, um, do hop on to YouTube and try to see if there is a, um, what should we call this, poll. Um, other than that, if you guys are listening to this on the iTunes on the go, you can catch, well, you can catch me doing this um, visually. Yes, I am on video. Ooh, that's something new. But anywho, uh, I have been Norman Sanzo, and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Yeti. See ya! <laughs>